Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. Welcome back to Return of the Obra Din. Cue the music. Uh, this is episode 13 of our blind playthrough of this game, and I don't know how much longer we're going to be playing the game for. Um, I think we might be approaching sort of... I mean, we're not that close, but I think we might be approaching the end. Um, eventually. And uh, I guess that depends on my, my detective... In my detective skills, huh? Uh, but really quickly before we hop in, I do really like to, towards the, towards this point of a playthrough of a game, I like to think about, I like to just kind of remind myself before I hop in, especially a game you can only play once, which this kind of sounds like it is. I just kind of like to remind myself that um, we might be approaching the end of, uh, of the experience, which I have loved so far. Welcome back to the Ober Den. Lost at sea in 1803. It's, uh, we're in the middle of, of the Doom chapter, uh, attempting to recreate from the beginning and follow the story in a linear fashion. Um, so, last we had looked was, uh, part five, where Roderick Anderson is crushed by a loose cannon, the ship is keeling over, um, find your footing. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get to part six. Um, this will be on the main deck. This is Pete is dead. Someone tell his mother. Um, so this death should be right here. Is it you? It is you. Okay. Is this the explosion? It is. throw the powder um so this is how pete dies unfortunately at the hands of sort of i mean at the hands of the of the monster but sort of in the uh process of uh thomas lanky which stinks um his midshipman friend uh we have let's just read the dialogue from the start Get to the main bit quick. Hold on, hold on. Throw it. Throw the powder. It's it, chaos. There's It's a long bit of dialogue, but there's only a couple lines. Uh, we have... Uh, conductor, aka okay, Gunner's Mate. Uh, or at least that's who we're calling him for now. And we have... Uh, the fourth mate, John Davies. We have Maba over here. How many people are present for this memory? Five others. We've just des uh, described Thomas, Olis, uh, fourth mate, Maba. That means one more. Um, the one more would be who? Would be Omid Ghoul or the Ghoul or the Topman. Who I don't at this exact second see. But that's good because I don't know his fate. And so, uh -huh. if we could find him in this scene, that would probably allow us to, I think we say drowned by beast here. Now, how many memories do we have? Uh, sorry, how many, how many fates do we have uh, proposed? So we have uh, Paul Moss, who we were just working on last time, I think, right? Thomas Lanky's incorrect. Goal here. I think we have two suggested right now. Paul Moss is shot in Soldiers of the Sea Part 7. Just let me remind myself really quickly. Which is, uh, that's right. This, ah, oh, this is such a good one. On the outside, you have to figure out who the shooter is. 
Uh, we believe the shooter is uh, is you, who I have hypothetically called Olis um, in this uh, <laughs> thing, but I'm not entirely sure at all that that's who it is. I know the face of the person, but I don't know who it is. So I feel pretty confident about Omid, so we have definitely one good guess, potentially two for fates. Anything else to know about this? I don't really think so. Um, however, we should very soon. This was part six, right? There's seven. There's eight parts. What is part seven? Um, we're getting to the stuff that was like my first experiences in the game. Is Maba. Um, and then after that. Is Abigail. Oh, shit. Um crushed by rigging sort of uh i mean i think that's what it is right i never filled this in um we'll, we'll double check that here in a second we have maba here which would be over here nope uh maba is torn in two is it right here it's further <clears throat> It's kind of cool that I can, like, remember vaguely where these bodies are. We're keeping track of 60 people. Not very well, but we're keeping track of them a little bit. Mappa put up a good fight. Buried his sword in this bitch. Spear thrown into it. Couple people overboard. Please let me figure out who they are. Please. We're in a boat. Does that mean? Aha. I can solve that, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Uh, so, the reason we can solve it is here. The three people on the boat are Duncan McKay, they are this man. Drowned by Beast, which we already have on the thing, actually. So that's fair. Uh, and then Nathan Peters, who we already have solved. So it's just this person's name that we need. So actually, that is not even a piece of information. We have the three people. They get thrown overboard eventually. Cool. So uh, Maba gets torn uh, in half by Beast. RIP. Put up a good fight. This is our friend, um, potentially Olus. What does the dialogue say here? Nope, that's the wrong chapter. Uh, was there any dialogue at all? No dialogue. I was hoping for an accent. Okay. We have a uh, mystery man. What do you have in your hand? Is that more powder for throwing? This is a uh, third mate, right? Third mate. This is a uh, bosun to uh, who I'm calling Gunner's mate. Oh, sorry. Your your name is Olis. No, we. <laughs> Oh, uh, we don't. Okay, so the problem here is that I have a couple very confused. Uh, I have a couple big question marks, and I've kind of handled them very. Listen, how generous do we want to be? I've handled them very irregularly. <laughs> is maybe generous way to put it, or stupidly if you if you're not feeling generous, and that's okay if you're not feeling generous. Um, this person, I've kind of called Olis because he's wearing a hat. And I mean, he's probably a high-ranking official, and maybe Gunner's mate is high-ranking high enough or military enough to be wearing a hat. Who knows? Uh, this person we call unknown. Um, however, we have this guy being shot by Olis, which is definitely not right if this guy's Olis. We don't know who this guy is. So frankly, I should be deleting some of this information. But instead, rather than do that and have a clean record-keeping system, I'm just kind of keeping it all in my head. And sometimes I have to remind myself by re-looking at the thing. Listen, don't hate the process. 
feel free to hate the process. I'm sure it could be a little frustrating at times. Um, you're uh, Abigail. Body moved to post. No, you're not Abigail. Abigail's body was moved to post mortem. You are Peter, and your body is still here, which is funny because technically it would have been out there, but whatever. Um, your fourth mate. You are uh, one of the two. You're Linid. Uh, and then you're the guy. Okay. Well, let's do this now. We have Overboard, Drowned by Beast, Torn in Half. We have Lewis Walker is in this scene. Okay. I'll have to find him in a second because it might give us some information. Linid. We have Nathan Peters overboard. We have Purser overboard. We have third mate uh, getting a gun from him. Third mate's uh, taking aim. Fourth mate's kind of huddling right here. You are holding like powder or something. Um, you are, I guess, actively spearing is what I would call it, right? Yeah. Um, that's you. Okay. And then we have... So, does that account for everyone? Where is, uh... Lanky is here? Lanky here? Lanky had just, uh, blown up... Lanky was on ropes, right? Lanky's probably huddled here. Lanky's here. He had just blown up his friend. Yikes. So where is... Lewis Walker? Is there anyone in the ropes? Okay. Bosun to unknown gunner's mate. Lanky. Dead body. Fourth mate. Right? Fourth mate. Somebody else in the arms? In the arms of the Kraken. Torn apart from here. Um, Linid. Chucking a spear directly into that arm. Perfect. Those three are dead. Likely. Drawn by Beast. Um, confirmed in some of the cases. You're here. This, uh, third mate shooting, right? Third mate shooting. Then where am I missing the topman? The specifically the uh, Lewis Walker. I think this is pro. This probably means Lewis Walker is dead. No, because Lewis Walker gets clubbed by Robert Witherell. I was thinking if there's an extra person in the scene, it's likely that they were drowned by Beast because in the chaos of this scene, I'm sure you get chucked overboard. Where am I missing this person? I'm just going to keep going very carefully until I find but what Where could he even be? <laughs> like, there's only so many... He's clubbed by Witterell in... Um... The third part of the last chapter. He's the guy who runs over the top with the knife because first to die is mate. Second to die is stabbed. Third to die is clubbed. And then last to die is the captain. Are any of these? Oh, that's a body. Um, but that is the... Uh... Nope, that's an arm. I thought it was a body like a mermaid or something. It turns out that what's his nuts? Lewis Walker was actually a shapeshifter. And he'd been here the whole time, hiding in plain sight. <laughs> Where the fuck is this guy? Is he overboard? Is he in the rigging? I might have to let this go. And I don't like letting things go. I like having answers. <laughs> 
It's gonna be that I'm missing him in some obvious place. And I'm gonna be really upset at myself. <gasps> He's right there. Found him. Topman, for sure. Just the outline of a body. You can't see it. There's the way the lighting is, you can't see a face on that guy. Actually, you kind of can see his face. That's all you can see. Okay, perfect. Okay, um, I personally am satisfied. That gives me no information other than that he's climbing the rigging during this part, which... I don't think makes any sense. Or, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, gives us any... I don't trust that guy because he tried to kill the captain, and for some reason, I like the captain. AKA, for some reason... Oh, this is so interesting. Let's think about character for a second. Let me, uh... Everybody take a shot. Let me think about the writing of characters in this game. Who do you root for in a game like this? You root for, most likely, those you... I don't know. Who do you root for in a movie? What's how do, you, how do you put words to the magic of who you root for or who you empathize or sympathize with in a movie or a book? Probably those who you feel were unjustly wronged. Those who you feel showed some sort of quality that you admire maybe heroism maybe leadership maybe something uh some things less uh cliched than those um for some reason i find myself rooting for the captain at this point in this story i've ri i've rooted for the captain i like the third mates oh who do i like this is a very interesting question to me it's not going to help me solve the game at all um but i have i have to engage with this question now that i've asked it I like Maba for his tattoos. I like um, the surgeon for the way he was... Uh, was it the surgeon or the butcher? The butcher for the way he was funny during the uh, killing of the cow. Like, about... To the midshipmen. I love the midshipmen for their friendship, camaraderie, and the Telpete's mother, and the, like... There's so much... There's so much story in the... Pete saying, throw the powder... And then Thomas throwing it, and in the next scene, just being a mess of, a wreck of himself. We dislike the second mate, especially for the sort of conniving whisper. Now I'm, now I'm uh, editorializing. The conniving whisper that isn't covered in this, uh, in this scene. Uh, I like the artist mostly because I think he's a little bit pathetic. Who dies shitting? I think, I mean, I think that's just funny. Um, I really like, uh, the Formosan who, uh, the Formosans got a very bad deal. Uh, at least a couple of the Formosans got a very bad deal here. Especially this one. Um, who else do I like? I don't like the people mutinying, mostly because I like the captain. It's not as simple as like and dislike, of course. It's, it's more like... Oh, I keep saying the word like. I love Larry David for his hair. Uh, it's more... Wow, I'm really starting to realize that this game is like... Oh my god, now I can't stop saying that word. The social relationship part of this is sort of a... super interesting, like, thought experiment. Um, who do you see yourself? Who do you view positively, generously? And who do you write off quickly? I liked the carpenter, but, oh, man. And it's weird how many answers I have. Like, we could probably go through most of the people, and I have at least some sort of an answer. And all I've seen from them is their reaction to certain moments, and sometimes their dialogue. But in a way, that's everything. That's, I mean, that's why, that's how we write characters in fiction. It's how we view characters in movies. It's, huh. Man, that's It's here's what here's what I'm feeling. Sorry, I'm not doing a very good job describing it. It's like I looked up from the first hundred pages of a book where I've only been following the plot to realize wait a second. <laughs> I don't know that I know them accurately, but I could give you a gut instinct and probably on many of them I could give you a couple paragraphs on my thoughts and feelings on each of the characters here. 
whether or not I feel they deserved their end for many of them, whether or not I feel they were justly or unjustly treated aboard the Obra Dinn, whether or not I empathize, whether or not their death brings me sadness, or I feel nothing. For each of these, I'm coming up with an example. Sadness, or I feel nothing. Oh, wow. Oh, it's giving me chills just thinking about it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, and it, oh, and the other the other part of it is everything I'm saying is like the most simple of storytelling mechanics. The most simple of story me storytelling mechanics. But books get published every year, which fail to do it. We've created a, a a full emotional world and community on this ship, and they did it in a very non traditional way in this game but it isn't any less deep for it, you know? Mabo was torn apart by Beast. Let's watch uh, part eight. Is this the right one? Nope, that's the right one, but it's locked. We go through here, through here, here. Rigging? Sort of. Where is the captain in this situation? Martin, where is the captain? Have you lost your mind? Get back inside. I want my husband. Where is he? He's below deck. Come here. Is there anything else that makes more sense? Clubbed is describing being hit by a club and not <laughs> uh, being clubbed by... You are kind of clubbed by a terrible beast. That, po that pole is just a club in its head or in its tentacles. Um, no, you were, uh, you were crushed by falling rigging, I guess. Martin, the third mate. Okay, so I'd like to follow a couple pieces of the rigging's torn is caught up there. Sorry, I'm trying to look at something. What are those big black dots in the air? I think they're particles. I thought maybe they were uh, people falling from a great height at first. Okay, Martin has soared out. See if we can't figure out the deaths of some more people here. This is the helmsman. Who is in. He is speared. However, he disappears here. So I think we could probably hypothetically say. Nope, wrong button. I think we could hypothetically say. He was speared earlier. Today, he was, I'm going to say, drowned by beast and see what happens. Three. Perfect. Does that mean we have Olus right? Abigail, Olus? Oh, baby, that's big news if we did. Shout out to, Ab to Abigail, who I've known since the beginning. Very early. It's Omid. Okay, shit. So, Olus and... Uh... And Thomas Linker is still incorrect. But did, for Olus, I don't think I actually said... I mean, for um, by Olus, I mean the uh, second mate steward, or the... Uh, I mean, Paul Moss, the first mate steward. Olus is just the wrong answer there. <laughs> we'll say unknown. And it's probably unknown semen. Uh, okay. So... Done. In this scene, who else should we be paying attention to? Uh, we have Abigail, 
who is now solved. Peter's drowned. Omid drowned. Duncan drowned. This guy, we need to know his name. Uh, unknown Topman met an unknown fate here. Um, we have our friend. If I can guess his name, then I can. If I can guess these three names. If I can get his name, then I know uh, Paul Moss's fate, which means two. Um, and then we could guess one one of those uh, fates as well. We heard gunshots in the audio. This is uh, hypothetically Olus. I don't know. Conductor. It's probably a little bit too much water coming aboard. I had to guess. All right, where to start? Um, Abigail dies. Martin is uh, saying, come here, and yet she gets hit. Here we have... Um, ship steward? Ship steward. Uh, Zungi. It says unknown. Your end is not is not said. You 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 did not disappear here, so that's okay. Um, the two, uh, Jane and Emily. Okay. Can I climb up from here. I cannot. I'm blocked by water here, and I think I'm blocked by a leg here. Is there anybody up there? Other than you, I don't think there is. Okay, we can ignore that. Then we have... Um, Clestal? Is this arm broken? So I'm pretty sure at the end of Bargain, the last scene of which takes place in the lazaretta. That's where something with the captain happens. Captain came up from the hold, said he chased it off. You should rest. You're in a bad way. The squid, where is my Frenchman? The squid definitely killed you in some way, shape, or form. But what would we call it? Would we say crushed by beast? I think that's possible. But you didn't you didn't expire in the moment. You were sort of you sort of expired later. But what would you call I'm guessing I'm guessing it's related to We're gonna put that for now. We'll figure it out. Okay, uh, back to the rest of this chapter. Here is our friend who has speared the beast. Um, and sort of it looks like kind of wedged the spear in this little hole a little bit. Maybe trying to give uh, you a chance to get out, which is kind of cool. I, I like this guy. Why do I like this guy? I don't know. Humans are complex beings. I'm just making gut instincts and calling it rationalization. I don't know. Um, Lewis Walker. Now that's an interesting choice. Is grabbing Maba's body to be... to keep it safe? I don't know. There are so many people unknown here and that is very scary one's there you are 100% um, drowned by beast I, I mean and by 100% I mean there is no other thing that makes sense based on the amount of information we have, which is very little. So, we'll call that that. Here's the problem. There's so many. What fate befell them? I have no idea. Disappearances? Do I say drowned by beast? Uh, I think it's possible. I don't think at this point he's bleeding. 
Drowned by Beast is sort of my, like, in the doom. The last we see of him is he's up and fighting. But I think that's sort of the best we, uh, the best we get in this situation. Okay. So super quickly. Let's keep looking overboard, see if we miss anything. In this scene, noted, 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 noted. Um, yep. 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 Uh, yes. Yes. Yes and yes. Okay. Got a lot of potential uh, things to guess here or figure out. I think right now, that's the most information I'm going to get from this. And I will leave them for now and come back to... Like, for instance, one way to play this would be to do this. Uh, this is an unknown seaman. Um, there's not that many left. In fact, I've already, I think, guessed this name once before. It would mean you're either George, Alexander, maybe you're Hamad Hamadan. Um, there's not that many seamen left. You, I think, are a seaman, but I don't really know. You are 100% a topman, um, and I believe a Chinese topman, but I'm not sure. Uh, however, rather than guess those, let's go ahead and uh, remove all these bookmarks. Um, rather than do that, let's go ahead and go to escape. because I think this could give us some good information. I think the order we encountered chapters was 10, 7, 9. Might be wrong, but... So escape was... <clears throat> escape part one is Clestal. And this is the big mystery I would really like to solve. Clestal... And the, his and his compatriots, and why they changed sides. Clestal here. He blames the squid for his death. Put me down. Let go. Oh, easy now. We're in a bad way. This is squid. Where is my Frenchman? The squid's gone. The wings torn apart. Oh, that. The beast is dead. How? Here's what we got. Uh, we pieced together a lot of this one before. This is Clestal. Frenchman is his mate. Now this the squid line makes a lot of sense. You're in a bad way. The squid did it to me. Um, we don't know exactly. We're going to try and describe the death a little bit better here in just a second. Squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. Um, so, sorry. Let me just really quickly go here. Make sure we have Clestal's mate as torn apart. We don't. Charles Minor. Um, if. Oh, interesting. Okay. I don't think we have a Charles Minor just yet. However, 
I don't think we have a face for Charles Minor just yet, is what I was trying to say. However, this is the start of the ninth chapter. It's possible he dies in eight. However, sorry, it's this, the, the scene we're in currently is the start of the ninth chapter. It's possible he dies in eight. However, it's possible he's here. Could it be? Man, imagine that would have worked. I don't know how many guesses we got. <laughs> Could it be? Um. Let's try this show memories on deck map thing. Yeah, this works. Uh, the thing is that I don't... Oh, Lord, I should probably just go back to the uh, the scenes where the bosun is in and to try and figure out who the mate is because... Um, sorry, I'm just very attracted to this idea that uh, this could be... Uh, that one of these three could be um, Charles Minor. Could also be this guy. Um, because... Uh, because we just now get the information he was torn apart by a beast. The other thing I just did is I didn't actually say torn apart. I said drowned. And it could be this. I don't know. Again, I don't remember how many guesses we have. So uh, what I'm going to do is this. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to write down. Charles Minor equals torn apart by beast. Because we know that. Um, or at least it's reported um, in this information. So let's think through this again. Sorry, my brain hurts. <laughs> um, how did you kill the beast? It left with the storm. Captain came up from the hold, said he chased it off. You should rest. A curse like that does not lift for nothing. Let's take a look at his body. I think his right arm is missing. I think it wasn't crushed by a piece by a beast. It's torn apart. I think his right arm is missing, which is what I was wondering about earlier. Um, the way he, and by right arm, I mean left arm, because I think in the scene, the beast is wrapped around his arm. The tentacles are wrapped around it. And then here, it just, I mean, I don't see an arm. So um, I think that makes the most sense. The other thing that could be very interesting here that I was just thinking while listening to the dialogue is this. I think listening to the audio and and listening to the and reading the dialogue put me down, let me go. This guy's main job in this scene is just lifting him to here. The Clestal to here. Whereas this guy we know calls a mutiny in just a second. On the other hand, I'm pretty sure it's fourth mate who ends up killing him. And so I think it's one of those situations where it's possible. You're clubbed by Brennan. I believe you're shot by fourth mate. But I don't remember exactly. We'll figure it out. Um, yeah. We've already talked about like keeping track of the uh, the shit here is so confusing. It's also really funny to look back at my at my notes because uh, I call this guy the mate behind the guns, <laughs> and now we know who he is. He's got a name. All right, in this scene, out walks first mate. This is happening in here. Up from the bottom walks Lanky, right? Lanky. Walking up to the top walks the captain. If he emerged from the bottom, is Lanky following him? And if not following, then like, what was he doing down there? And I believe that's everyone in this scene. Let's just double check. Brennan is here somewhere, so that's not everyone. Where is Brennan?
and Lewis Walker. Right? Windows? You're hiding behind this curtain? Wouldn't that be crazy? Brennan? Am I in the right chapter? I'm in the wrong chapter. <laughs> Which does explain that. That explains that, for sure. <laughs> it's like, there's no way. Most of the time, you listen to the game, you're like, oh, I must be wrong about something. I was like, that's there's no way they're there. Okay, cool. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, Clestal is torn apart. Oh, I have a nun attacker here when it's actually beast. Okay. Um. Next, we have the ship steward dying here. Last we saw the ship steward, he was basically standing right here in front of, uh, Jane and Bird. While, uh, the correct one, right? while the helmsman was ripped into the air by the beast. Okay, so two things happening at once here, part two. Last one. Move quick. Do not take the last boat. Zungi's loading the last boat. Linen. Okay. So. You know what else we haven't done yet? We don't know where Bargain takes place. However, uh, in a world map, Doom takes place just a little bit north. The Canary uh, Islands. Halfway between Canary Islands and the Azores. Chapter 9. 8 is unknown. Chapter 9 takes place halfway between the Azores and Madeira. Last lifeboat. I mean, can I just stay alive? This is interesting. I can guess here. I have options here, is what I meant to say. Um, you are the surgeon. Okay. I'm going to write down getaway boat. I don't believe we know what happens to this boat. Getaway boats equals surgeon. Um, it'll be at the end of this chapter, actually. Emily. J. Jane B. David James? David James. David James. Okay. So they're all on the boat. Hypothetically, the minute we know the outcome of one, we know the outcome of, of all four. Not guaranteed at all. You are not killed by an unknown attacker. I believe this is Linid, but I'll double check my uh, my work later. I believe this is Linid. Right? Yeah, okay. 
So here's the deal. I thought that would have been the answer because one, two, how many do I have? <laughs> I thought that was number three. Plastel, we just did. Zungi. And then Lanky, who's not knifed by F. Dalton. So that's actually the only one we have. Okay. Oh, my God. We are really close. There are not a lot of gaps here. And the gaps that we do have are, like, understandable gaps. It's like, where did this... Where did these four people's boat go? Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm getting excited. Okay. Um, I feel accurate. I feel good about this. Let's just quickly double check. Last one, move quick. Damn, he says, right when he dies. Um, you'll not take the last boat. Paul, look out. That's the part that's a little bit confusing. Paul, look out. Is that Paul... Uh oh. Oh, do I have Zungi and uh and Paul Moss backwards? Cuz the cuz Paul Moss Okay, so interesting. I think we almost have to interesting because paul i have dying outside shot by a gun by this man zungi i have killed right here and those are i can't fix that right now until i figure out one more guess so we better get freaking moving because if I get one more guess and I feel pretty accurate about it and it's not correct, then I know we have the names incorrect. Okay, damn. I mean, I feel like it's probably Paul if somebody says Paul. Uh, Lyndon is shot by Jackson. That's true. I know that one. That's next. Okay, so in this scene, though, first off, we have Captain, gun in the air, shot. We have Lewis Walker. You're a topman. You've also got a knife in your hand. Are you sawing the rope? Why are you sawing the rope? Is that not what that looks like? Is it a mutiny like at that very second? Is that what's happening? You are Brennan and you are first mate. Just confusing because you guys are eventually gonna die by the hands of Robert Witterell. And so what happens different there? Oh, it makes my head spin. Oh, it makes my head spin. Down here in the meantime, we have listening. Uh, it's Thomas Lanky. We have fourth mate, who does not appear to be into what's happening, into hearing what's happening here. Pestle has died. You're talking to uh, 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 whoever you are is talking to the, the mate. Okay. We need one more fate. We need one more fate here, and then we can test. Oh, and I'm nervous. We're not going to get it. Should be Leonard. Shots. We know for a fact that that is Emily Jackson because that this is confirmed. Okay. Baby James, are you, you started lower. So do you actually come aboard here? Didn't you, you were lower last episode, like last part. Ooh, so are you climbing? First mate, Brennan. Um, Miss Jane Bird, uh, Surgeon. I don't see anything wrong with you guys just yet. Captain is shot and now is shooting, is, is getting ready to fire, but does not get the chance. You, that rope is not severed. You had a knife in your hand last time. Did you drop it or something? Get a 
in your other hand. I don't know. You had a knife at some point. Nothing happens. Cool. Down here. More listening? Nope, not more listening. Um. He's up. He's attacking. There's Lanky. Tell Pete's mother. <laughs> this door isn't uh, open. Okay. Uh, let's go to the next scene. This chapter is so much fun. It's really... It's, it's hard for me. I don't know that it's hard for anyone else. Hard for me. Just let them go. It's all it says. This one is Olis or whoever dying. That's the hat, right? Should be Olis. Olis is chasing with the knife. Then he's already stabbed. Ha. And from in here runs. Um. <laughs> What's his nuts? Davis. Quite the back and forth. Gun explodes. He dies. You are Brennan. Okay. Now here's the question. It doesn't look like what's his nut nuts got on board. This is uh Lewis Walker, right? Uh dropping um Lynnade overboard. Yep. So uh Davy James does not appear to have gotten on board. Um I think he actually stayed on the on the ship. Uh, but we can't, I don't believe, see the actual ship, so. Uh, Captain is hanging his head. What has become of this voyage that we were taking? So. You weren't shot by an unknown attacker. You were shot by... Um, uh, which mate is it? Son of a bitch. This is uh, fourth mate. John Davies. Okay. So that's the one. So that tells us we have some things incorrect. Uh, hit Q, hit go here. Sorry, I, I get this thing where I get so excited I hit the wrong button. I'm, I'm sure that's very annoying. Then I flip back and forth between uh, menus. I apologize, I'm sure that's really annoying. Okay, Olis, either we got your name wrong or more likely, depending on the information we just got, this is not Zungi killed by sword. Paul is killed by sword of so the way I should do this is actually go. <laughs> uh, who is Zungi? This guy. And you were. Yes. And then you were. It says Paul, which. There we go. 45 fates done. Interesting. I wonder if that's tricky. I wonder if anyone else gets Paul and Zungi confused. Because that seems tricky on the part of the game, and I love it. It is Olis, which is incredible. Ah, oh, that's the thing I didn't have time to say there before I made the guess, before I made the switch, was Olis might be the wrong name. Um, and because of that, my guesses might not work here. And I might not get confirmation that Paul is actually Zungi and Zungi is actually Paul. This game turns you into a nonsense spewing person. Pete's mother, Paul is Zungi, Zungi's Paul. Okay. So, we are getting there. We are getting there. Davies gets clubbed by Brennan. I, which I'm guess, which I'm starting to guess, is a lack of context issue. Some part of this. 
Walks down. Dead gunner's mate. Dead midshipman. Or dying midshipman. Walks down. Pubs him. Let's take a look though. Uh we we can just guess. Or we can just we can hear it. Really quickly before we go though. Oh shit, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> really quickly before they go before we go. Uh, I've been wanting to do this. Uh, this is this ch chapter. We have everybody. Lanky, yes. Oh, this gets his head blown off. First mate is up top with Brennan. Um, fourth mate's doing the shooting. Captain's hanging his head. Lewis is uh, chucking somebody overboard. Um, really quickly, the chapter before, just to make sure. Lynn doing the stabbing. Um... Oh, never mind. Wrong chapter? Wait. Yep, wrong uh, uh, wrong chapter. Linid is getting shot. Emily's doing the shooting. Jane is watching. Uh, Lewis is running up. Captain is aiming but not shooting. You and Brennan are running towards. Fourth mate is in the conversation. Davy's on the boat. Lanky's listening in the conversation. Surgeons on board. Cool. That's everyone accounted for, which is what we love to see. I'm just trying to be careful. Because I feel like if I'm not careful right now, somebody's going to slip through the cracks, on the cracks on these chapters, and then I'm going to have to go back and redo it all. And by redo it all, I mean trace one person's fate. Okay. Uh, done. And then we have Davies. Um, dies to Brennan via clubbing or stabbing, one of the two. There's a shot. What's a wish? What's all this? Hop. It attacks the attacker. Having heard mutiny. Oh my god. Having heard mutiny, he runs down, sees a dead person and a stabbed person, and shoot and, and clubs the person who he thinks pulls the mutiny. Oh my God, that's a, that's got to be the that's got got to be the sensical reading, right? <coughs> <coughs> wow, Brennan, clubs, uh 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 uh, Davies, Lanky is dying on the floor. Knifed by F. Dalton is the wrong name. Knifed by Olius Walter is uh, Olius uh, 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 Viater. Uh, Viater is the correct thing. Um, first mate is there, and no one else is actually in this memory because I can't go up, so I can't see anything. That's it. Done. You look to the blood pool. Done. Then we get the good dialogue about Pete's mom. We're getting there. We're getting there. We are getting there. Which is good, because we've been live for an hour. Um, <clears throat> quickly, quickly, let's watch the next scene. Next body's in here. Blood leaking out the floor. And a knife. Oh, no. Get cut. No, don't. Leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. Tell Pete's mother. I tried my best. I To pull him back to save him. You tell her yourself. You tell her yourself. Bring, bring the surgeon's kit. Surgeon's already gone. Bring the surgeon's kit because you can't bring the surgeon because the surgeon just left on that boat. The context. The story's entirely different when you understand the context for each individual character and also for the boat at large. Brennan run down, runs down and kills who he believes to be the mutineer. Who is in fact, probably not into the mutiny or at least not into Olis stabbing the midshipman. Oh my God, okay. We have Thomas knifed by uh, Olis. We have, um, is, oh, what? First mate? Is that correct? Um, this button go here, here. This is first mate, William Hoskett. Uh, we have Brennan. Uh, and then we have Lewis Walker, who is running down 
Lewis Walker is always running everywhere. Arm up guy, he's running everywhere. He's always sprinting. He's always got a knife in his teeth. He's climbing the ropes. Should be every person. Done. Tell Pete's mother I try my best. Can I get an H in the chat for Peach's, uh, for Pete's mom? Okay. Um, cool. That leaves us with disappearances for this chapter. Who I'm going to believe for now. Should I try it? I guess there's only one way to find out, right? The start of this chapter takes place. I mean, are they closest to the Azores or are they closest to Madeira? That would have been three. Pretty sure, with Thomas Lanky. The one of them's not alive on the Azores. <laughs> maybe they're. I don't know. Maybe one of them's alive on the Azores, but not both of them. Uh, we'll find that out, I'm sure, in another in another time. But that's gonna have to do it for this episode of our playthrough. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed episode 13, lucky number 13. Uh, we're at 45 fates, and I think closing in on we got four people on a boat. Let's just take a look, right? Four people on a boat. Uh, one that I'm, I know I have correct. I just haven't confirmed it. That's Thomas Lanky. Um, we have some top men identities to solve here. Uh, we have the identities of three seamen. Uh, and the deaths of... Nope. Oh my god, is that everybody? We have Charlie Miner, who we know was torn apart by a beast... Martin Perrot, uh, who I don't know exactly what happened to. We'll see. Um, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.